A lot of the guys that come on the boat, uh, they want to know about the mechanical systems, what type of engines we have, um, you know, how big a generator do we have and stuff like that. So we have a 20 kW generator that produces power enough to uh, run everything on the boat. We have a huge battery banks. We carry 12 house batteries. Um, the engines are, the main engines are a uh, 100 horsepower turbocharged Yanmars that uh, propel the boat at about, our cruising speed is about nine knots. So um, if you've ever cruised on a boat, uh, you know that most boats run about five or six knots um, at best. And so uh, at nine knots, we cover a lot of area very quickly. So, um, or in a reasonable amount of time. Now, granted the wind and waves can, can knock you back a little bit on those timelines. But um, for the most part, um, our mechanical systems on the boat, we have a, a, a huge water maker. We make 60 gallons an hour of fresh water from the ocean with our reverse osmosis system on the boat. So um, showers, the guests love, you know, fresh water is something that guests love the most, uh, you know, and so there's plenty of that to go around, you know, um, usually we see people taking two and three showers a day uh, and then rinsing off every time they come out of the ocean. The ocean is, is um, quite abrasive on people, just the salt and, and that. So um, we like to, you know, people like to stay out of the salt and we, we get that plenty there. Um, the dinghy has a 60 horse, plenty of water skiing, uh, you know, wakeboarding, power to, to, uh, to go on our excursions. Um, other than that, mm, we have, a, yeah, we have a brand new sound system. We put on all kinds of uh, neat equipment uh, um, for that, you know, as far as like Shanna mentioned earlier, the direct TV, uh, the Sirius satellite radio. If you don't have a playlist or if you, you know, got in a hurry and didn't, have time to download your playlist. We have that now, um, hundreds or thousands of songs, thousands. thousands of movies. If they, you know, if it's a rainy day, sometimes it rains out here and we, you know, there's not always the sun. Um, and, and so, you know, nobody likes to stand around out in the rain. So, um, the, you know, we have that opportunity to watch a, you know, a neat movie or something like that, that, that takes up just a little bit of time, maybe an hour or two that, that, uh, that it might rain out here. And usually that's all it really does rain. It's just for a couple of hours and then it clears out, it blows right through. And we also have the, the Wi-Fi. Yeah. The Wi-Fi, wi so people can, they're wanting to disconnect, but if they need to check emails from work, that's available for the most part throughout the Bahamas, but there are gonna be a few places where it's gonna be a day or two where, before you might get it. But it is available at the beginning and the end and not always in between. So as far as um, packing for the, for the trip, if you're planning on coming for a, a seven night, eight day charter, um, we usually recommend that you guys pack really light. Um, soft sided suitcase or collapsible bag. Um, you're basically in your swimsuits and cover ups and guys and your trunks and a t-shirt. And you know, if you choose to go out for dinner a couple of times, there are a few places we could do that. But again, everything is very low key. You don't need to have, you know, just a sundress or even shorts. Everything goes kind of down here. And then as far as packing, if you choose to not check any bags, all your shampoos, conditioners, body wash, sunscreen, bug spray, lotion, toothpaste, toothbrushes, everything, face um, makeup wipes. Um, we have everything that you could possibly want. I mean, you can bring your little three ounce containers of your special stuff that you can carry with you, but to avoid all that, you don't have to pack any shampoos unless you have certain conditions that you need to, to follow. But other than that, we can, uh, we can pretty much have you covered when you get on the boat. And dry bags, you know, um, yeah, we have dry bags for your phones, um, those kinds of things, you know, because everybody likes to take pictures of, of what's going on around them. So we have the dry bags that, that help that, you know, in the dinghy and the chargers and stuff, you know, you don't need to worry about your chargers. Um, we are a high voltage boat, but uh, uh, most every cell phone charging base station um, can go from 100 to 240 volts. So that's important um, to know that before you get on the boat, because everybody has that question. How am I going to charge up my camera? How am I going to charge up my phone? That's important um, to know that they can just plug into the boat and there's, there's never an issue with, with power. Um, 
We have adapters, we have inverters and converters and all kinds of fun things so that uh, we can adapt to get those, those things charged up if they need it. So.